Hello and welcome to this series of lectures about nature and nature protection. Besides nature and nature protection per se, these series of lectures are going to be bringing up the policy and political framework and decision making that leads to nature protection, to various forms of nature protection. We will have uh, parts having to do with how different kinds of political systems assign responsibility for nature protection to different levels in the political system. And we also can say that through international collaboration, countries um, work together to have some sort of common system of protection or to improve the protection which they have in their own country and therefore contributing to protection in other countries. Before we begin, we clearly have to also have an understanding of what we mean by nature and why we have nature protection. We also, we also have to think about what nature means and what nature protection can mean now that we seem to be in the Anthropocene. But we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. My name is Joe Stroll and I am the main teacher for most of the lectures in this series about nature protection and um, most of these lectures having to do with nature protection. Before we go any further, you may be watching this lecture on YouTube. In that case, you have the possibility to turn the text on and off, or the captions as you like. That's an advantage of watching some lectures on YouTube, because you can decide yourself what kind of captions you want to see, and if you want to see them at all. You also have the option, using the cogwheel, to be able to determine what kind of video quality you're going to be using, what kind of video quality, the visual quality that you have when you're viewing the, the lecture on YouTube. So if you have some problem with your vision, some sort of visual impairment, I would suggest that you turn the captions on. And depending upon whether you're looking at this on a cell phone or on a computer, where you find the symbol for the captions may vary. I find that YouTube gets 97% of the words that I say in English correct when captions are provided. So it's a rather good kind of service. For those of you who don't want to have captions, then you can just remove that and not select that. When it comes to video quality, you have the option of using the cogwheel to change the quality with a higher number, like 1080p, like this is being recorded. Um, or to lower it if your bandwidth is uh, not good enough. If you find that the captions are getting in your way and that they are uh, covering up important text or part of, of the, the film, then you can always turn that off as well. Thank you.